Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here. Alright, so if you didn't already know, I've been slowly transferring my Home Assistant configuration over from a standard Home Assistant install to Has.io on a Raspberry Pi 3. And I, I like the uh, features and add-ons and stuff that Has.io provides uh, compared to what you get with just regular Home Assistant. I wanted to show you one of the cool things that I found so far during my install. So this tutorial is how to add a terminal console to your Has.io web front end. As you guys already know, I'm kind of a CLI junkie, so I like having the ability to use the command line. Uh, so this is a pretty cool feature. All right, let's do a quick rundown of what we're going to cover in this video. We're going to start by adding the repo to install the terminal add-on. Then we got to do some minor configuration to the add-on before we can start it. Then I can show you what that terminal add-on looks like. Next, we're going to take it one step further. We're going to add in a panel iframe to our configuration.yaml, which will then basically just add a little menu button on the side that allows us to view the terminal whenever we want. And then, of course, lastly, I'll show you what that looks like with the new panel iframe that we added. So let's get started. We're over here at the Has.io add-ons and we're going to hit the little menu in the top right corner where it says add-on repositories at the top we're going to add another repo now I've already got mine added so I'm just going to highlight it and show you which one I'm talking about but if you don't have this one already you're going to copy and paste this in there and hit the save button once you have that repo added we're going to scroll down and this is the new repo and there is that terminal add-on that we're fixing to install. Click on that, and then we're gonna hit install. We'll give that install a second to finish. Once that's installed, we are ready to configure our terminal add-on. Now for the most part, all you really want to do is put in a username and password. You can use whichever one you want. You also have the ability to do SSL. If you have certs and you're using Let's Encrypt or anything like that, then you can certainly enable that as well. For the sake of this video, we're just going to do the username and password. Get those added. Once you've made all the changes to your options that you want to make, you can go ahead and start the add-on. All right, let's go ahead and see what that looks like uh, just from the default setup. To access the terminal add-on, all you have to do is put in the IP address of your Home Assistant configuration, and then the port number by default is 7681. Now you can set that to whatever you want. And since we put in a username and password, it's gonna ask us to type in that password. And there we are, we're, as you can see, we're on a web page, and we're looking at our terminal for our Has.io configuration. Pretty cool. But we're gonna take it one step further. All right, so we're gonna add a panel iframe to our configuration, which will allow us to have our own little link on the side to access the terminal whenever we want. So we do that by editing our configuration.yaml we're going to add a new component, it's going to be panel underscore iframe. I'm going to call it terminal because that's what I want it to be called. I'm going to go ahead and give it a title that says terminal as well. You can give it an icon if you want. Again, we're going to set the URL to be basically our IP address, colon, whatever port number we have set up in the configuration. Once you have all that, we're going to save it. And 
of course, I'm going to restart as I O. Has IO, Home Assistant, Restart. And we'll give that a little bit to come back up. Check out our new panel iframe. Here we are at our Home Assistant web front end. And as you can see in the left now, we have a terminal link. So we're going to click on that. And there it is. This is our Has IO uh, console, CLI. And we're still within our Home Assistant web front end. And you see there it's working just fine. And we click on our main screen and go back. Everything looks great. Pretty simple setup. Super easy to configure. That is the end of this video, guys. Let's do a quick rundown of everything we covered in this video. We started by adding the repo to install our new terminal add-on. Then we configured the terminal add-on. Uh, once we did that, I kind of showed you what that looked like just by default. Then we took it one step further and we added the uh, panel iframe, which allowed us to have a menu on the side where we could click on terminal whenever we wanted. And then lastly, of course, I showed you what that looked like with the new panel iframe. All right, guys, like I said, that's the end of the video. Hope you liked it. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And, of course, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, see you guys around. Thanks.